I heard that there was going to be some sort of a free speech zone that protesters were going to be required to be in. Is that correct? It's going to be back on that side over there. ShireSociety.com Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. So this is this is the building where the speech is supposed to happen, and it's uh, there's access over there. But if you look over here, they've actually blocked it off. Uh, so I'm going to go as close as I can. I bet I won't get <laughs> this close once uh, we get closer to the event. How are you? Good. How are you? So it's a sea of police, basically already to some extent. Uh, although these are actually the first police I've seen in numbers, there are, uh, you know, I noticed a bunch of police vehicles that are already here. Um, this is about, I guess, two hours before the speech. So there are two groups of people who are interested in this, but both of them seem to be people who are just here to line up or see the event, or Milo, uh, Milo supporters of some sort. So it's a really small venue, apparently, uh, and doesn't really look even like a venue. It looks more like a cafeteria. It's called The Lodge at UCCS. So as I was driving in, I, I thought, well, you know, there's all this complaining about, uh, oh, uh, you know, college students, privilege, yada, yada, you know. Well, it's important to look at what you see, not what you hear. So the first thing I saw that was of any interest was a student walking in front of my vehicle without paying any attention to it uh, and outside the crosswalk. And then I saw one crossing the crosswalk, no big deal. Uh, but he just, it was, he was taking so much his time without paying any attention to me or the fact that I was wanting to drive through there. Uh, then the third thing I saw though was a gal who stopped for my car before getting in the crosswalk and motioned me across. And so I thought this was very thoughtful and it restored some of my faith in youth manity. Hey guys, question. I heard that there was going to be some sort of a free speech zone that protesters were going to be required to be in, is that correct? It's going to be back on that side over there on the southwest. I think I saw the map. Now, what will happen to a demonstrator if they have a sign and they're not inside that zone? Well, I guess we're about to get an answer to that question. Maybe the lodge is up over there. I don't know. <laughs> Are you told that there's a sign outside this this building that says, "Though this is a cashless cafeteria." I wonder what would happen if you tried to eat here and refused to pay with a card and just handed them cash. Could you be arrested? Great. So, I have some, I have kind of if your no name's problem. on a list, yep. we know that. it's going to guarantee you a spot in line. Okay? Okay. Not necessarily a spot in the auditorium. Okay, that's I don't know who decided that. It's a really weird process. Good job. So I don't know if you want to see that because we got sent that from the event thing. So I don't know if you want to read it just so you have an idea of what they're planning to put in. So, so the, the, the policeman is trying to be helpful. They are uh, they are informing him that their tickets are being invalidated. Essentially, the Eventbrite tickets will not be accepted, and he didn't know that. And I guess he's looking into it.
The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, an updated web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.